you all know i always have amazing fish recipe for you guys but today i'm not going to be using red snapper i'm using sea brim yes this is my first sea brim recipe do not go away because this one is definitely a must watch hello everyone i'm so excited excited today because i'm making sea brim this is my first sea brim video can you imagine cloudy first sea brim well if you're new year a special welcome to you to my returning subscribers you guys are amazing today i'm going to be showing you something completely different on how to make the perfect oven grilled sea brim trust me you're gonna love it but before we get started, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed and turn on the notification bell. So right here we have this beautiful looking sea brim. Oh my god, guys, sea brim is so beautiful looking. So it has been scaled, got head and washed, fresh looking. Look at those eyes. For the rest of the ingredients, we have some chili flakes, seasoned salt and cumin powder. You can use any salt of your choice. We have some fresh lemon that's going to go inside the belly of the fish and we also have some smoked paprika for the fresh ingredients guys if you've never ever tried cilantro and celery stalks you should go for it we also have some garlic maggie cube and red onion so for the cilantro and and the um, celery steaks those two they are a perfect blend for grilled fish so let us start by blending all the fresh ingredients but i'm not going to be blending the cilantro i'm just going to chop it so it's going to have a beautiful look when you grill the fish and inside the marinade so in this recipe today i'm going to be showing you what i do with my remaining marinade it's not like my other videos where i just said oh microwave this for five minutes and keep basting no, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to be showing you a completely different way, but just keep watching ahead. So I'm just adding lemon juice now. I forgot to add that when I was showing the ingredients. So I'm just going to slice it into very tiny particles. Then I'll mix with the marinade. So right here we have our blended marinade so combine all the ingredients inside with some olive oil and get ready to marinate So I'm using olive oil here. If you don't have olive oil, you can skip this part or use any oil of your choice, any cooking oil of your choice. So just mix everything, prep the fish and ready to marinate.
guys i'm just gonna be using some freshly cracked black pepper i prefer the freshly cracked black pepper to grill fish because it like that extra flavor you have there but nevertheless if you have ground black pepper you can add it there it's gonna do the same trick So like what I was telling you before, do you see how that cilantro looks there? That's how it's going to be. So when you're marinating, take note that some of that marinade is going to remain. Like a lot of it is going to remain. But do not bother because I'm going to be showing you what to do with the marinade ahead. So cover and let it marinate for at least 30 minutes. If you've watched any of my grilling videos, you know I don't joke with my oil spray when I grill. It keeps my fish so so moist so just grill 400 degrees fahrenheit 10 minutes each side for that remaining marinade transfer into a pan or a pot add a little bit of water and oil and get to saute it for about five to eight minutes yeah look at that the reason you're doing this is because you're going to be using it to bust the fish from time to time because sea brim tends to dry off in the oven really fast so you're going to be using that to bust the fish so it keeps it very very moist and flavorful as well so for my side as veggies i'm going to be using some red bell pepper zucchini and onions for the veggies you can use whatsoever veggies you like Just about half tablespoon of cooking oil then i'll just put my veggies inside and let it saute for about three minutes i'll add in freshly cracked black pepper and a pinch of salt keep stirring for about three to five minutes so that it maintains that crunchiness so now for our fish is doing so good i'm just going to apply more of that remaining marinade as the cooked marinade on it just to keep it moist before i flip it over because when i flip it over this side can tend to dry off so now i'm just going to flip it over then apply more of that marinade on the other side
I'll just garnish with some cilantro here. Guys, I love presentation. Like when food is perfectly presented, it gives you that appetite to just keep eating. So right now, let us check on our fish. It has been fully cooked at this point and get ready to serve with our side. So right now, guys, my home is filled with beautiful flavors and we can't wait to eat this fish. But before we eat the fish, I'm going to be showing you guys how it looks in the inside and how it has been cooked to perfection. I'm just going to dip it in there and let us see how flaky it looks like. Look at that. I'm just going to pinch it at the side so it just breaks through. Then you know your fish has been fully cooked. Look at that. It's looking so, so good. Guys, sea brim is that fish you should definitely try out. Don't pass it by in the grocery store or if you come across sea brim, do not pass it by. So guys, thank you so much for watching to this point. I appreciate your support always. Until we meet again in my next videos, keep trusting my recipes. Bye-bye and stay safe.